always be able to get off on it. Sure, we got off before. Hey guys, Janet here. Jane's here. And it's a very windy, kind of stormy day, but we're out. We're gonna go out on a. Is this a private pick? Or is not this really. like it's an a, open it's, sale? It's not a private pick. It was something that I saw on Facebook, uh, one of the groups on Marketplace or whatever. And, uh, and it just showed up. It was a, uh, an ad, uh, an ad that, that from a place that was, I guess, it's a barn. But they have like a lot of old signs and rustic stuff in there. Yeah. And there was a sign, uh, so, a, a vintage Goulardi Manor's uh, big Goulardi sign. It was a drink that they used to, like a, a milkshake. Yeah. They used to. Uh, yeah, go this way. Okay. Um, we're, we're stopping at a rest stop real quick. Rest, the rest stop. Anyway, yeah. there was a vintage Goulardi sign available for 25 bucks here. And I did write them and they told me initially that the sign was sold. Sorry. But it's right here, right? Yeah. Okay. We could pull into any and, of the spots. Um, but then I got a message later that evening that they made a mistake. It wasn't sold, so I can come pick it up if I want it. So we're driving like, you know, almost an hour out. Yeah, uh, we're, it's somewhere in Medina County. We'll just say that. But yeah, this is someone who has a bunch of stuff they're selling out of their barn. They put it on Facebook. You saw it the other day. Yeah. And they're holding a sign for us that might be an authentic real deal Goulardi sign from the mid 1960s it from all from what I could tell from looking at uh, the pictures online mm -hmm. it looks legit it's not cropped uh, it's full bleed um, which we'll go over probably later with some we'll probably put some stuff in there so I can maybe it'll help people identify things that are repro repros yeah or repops as they call them reprinted material versus original but um, I think it's worth the drive out here. Oh yeah, um, I think um, to score something that might be vintage and very hard to get. Yeah, I think uh, we'll we'll see what we could film while we're there. If they say no, then we won't. We have obviously, you know, want to respect their privacy. Um, maybe just show, maybe just use the camera to show some of the items that are there. So we're also going to see what else is there. Maybe they've wow. got some other cool stuff. Yeah. So this is part of our documenting uh, our, our acquisition of certain. Uh, horror host, movie host, uh, Cleveland related memorabilia. Mm -hmm. um, we have quite a, f a bit of stuff so far and we're just adding to it. Hopefully this would be a good get for the collection. Yes. So first we need to pee. Let's go. <laughs> and then we're not going to film that though. We're not going to film that. No. So cool. Oh, is that the oh, sign there? It is, it is a reprint, but it is kind of mm -hmm. neat. Yeah. I've never seen one to be able to buy it. Yeah. That's you can have the whole thing or peel it off, whatever you want to do. <laughs> oh, it's smaller. Yeah. Well, I think I don't think they were that big. Anyway, I think this is about the right size. So that it's would... It's just not yellowed like it would be really old. And actually yeah, it might be a reproduction. But that's what they would have, like... Yeah. In the yeah. restaurant well, or something. Yeah. yeah and, and you could see that that was that that actual damage was printed and not actual damage. So. Oh, yeah. Like they well, scanned it. That they were Bob's big boy. That's yeah. They had that drink. I had no clue what the manners. What yeah. Manners, Man was. manners. They had Bob's no big idea. boy, manners, big boy, different like uh, 
variations of it. No, I didn't know. Hmm. Right, we're gonna Ooh, look around. Yeah, so, I'm going to look at all the other stuff. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. And that uh, chest over there, it's got some trays in it that, uh, what do they call it? Foundry chest. I mm -hmm. had a nice. wheel cart. That's a foundry, foundry I see some VHS tapes. Do you have anything more like this around here? Or um, you don't know? Like, who knows? Yes. Yeah, like video tapes or movie. Um, Oh, uh, eight tracks. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting too. Well, I was gonna see, I got that. I was gonna have to have you check them to see what they are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you write something on, but it's not necessary. What's really on? Right. right. <laughs> and they're they're really old. They kind of smell to them. Oh, they have One says the night before Christmas. It might just it's it doesn't the film smell something. Sometimes it does. It has a vinegar smell Is to that it. Is that normal? It's not. That means it's got the, what they call vinegar syndrome. The film's starting to deteriorate. Oh, there yeah. To there's, a, there's a chemical that might be able to fix it, How but you, put it in you have to let it soak year? for like six months. Like almost oh, a year. Yeah. If it's worth keeping. See, I, sometimes I Someone just like it. People like the blank ones just to hang on walls for decor. Yeah, we've got a lot of them. Yeah, like I've that. sold the set on one. This just has the old, that old film smell you know I'm talking about. That, mm. Yeah, Yes, yes. Has a oh. mothball smell, but it's maybe like, that's a weird. It doesn't smell like vinegar, which is good. It just has that like really weird West Indian. It's not moldy, so that's good. You know, do you smell that? It smells if like it smells like moth. salad dressing, then oh, you pretty much put moth mothballs. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, if it's mothballs, it's something else. It has yeah. Its... That's funny. Mm. Middle bass island. Yeah, I smell mothballs on it. Yeah, it has that smell. I, think I don't it's smell just vinegar. A, no, when that is that good though? Is the mothball smell okay? I'm not sure. Well, it's interesting. <laughs> they look interesting. reflects a little bit of the uh, the state of the Gulardi sign not being authentic, but we did find a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we wound up, you know, spending dropping about 70 bucks on stuff. We can go over it later. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are back at a home sweet home Cleveland, <laughs> and this is the hall um, in these boxes here. Oh, you're putting it out there to go. Might as well be, you know, well, because, yeah, it's just easier to grab everything out. Okay. I don't know how exciting this rug is, but we got this here rug. Wow. For 20 bucks, it's a vintage rug that I think we could actually use for the house. So that's not an item to resell. It's just an item for us to use. Yeah. So yeah. nothing too exciting there. I'm sorry that I cleaned the garage so well. I apologize for how clean it is. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to embarrass me. That's okay. I'm sure there's a lot of people with garages that look like that. It's all, it's all your stuff. All You're right. not the only one, huh? Oh, so what's this guy? What's what guy? Is this want to start with this? I don't know. Yeah, let's start with that. I that looks very interesting. It's Mr. Brain. It almost looks like it's from the 60s. I'm not really sure how old Mr. Brain is. But I don't think he's... Does it... I can't... Well. Mr. Brain, the true smoke robot with a memory. True smoke? Maybe he like that sounds like a rapper's name. What's up? This is true smoke. <laughs> and it's made by Remco. Remco? It's a Remco, it's you know. It's a Remco product. 69, what a sexy number. That's my birth year too. Mr. Brain, I've never heard of this thing, but I'll bet you it's worth a couple of bucks. But the what I did see that I thought was even cooler was this lost in space robot. Unfortunately, this is I believe this is all that there is of him. If he had his head, and I think there's a wheel missing from here. But if he was complete with mm -hmm. the head. This could be a $300 piece for sure. Wow. In the box, they go for four or five. But I might be able to get 50 bucks at least, maybe 75 for this body. I wouldn't be surprised. This, I didn't know that was that old, so that's even cooler. What's this, directions for Mr. 
robot. This is the one of the best things I found. Oh, someone had to take the, the battery packs. Miss oh, the Again. battery cover. But maybe you could sell them for I, parts. I do. I sell lots of things like this for parts, and this yeah. box could be worth something to somebody. Um, there oh, was some the stuff. And batteries. The old batteries. There was some stuff in here too. I'll show you guys. So, I picked out this um, vintage, like antique. Oh, there I am. Hello. This vintage antique looking mirror. I thought it was really cute. If I don't end up reselling it, maybe I can use it for something in the house. Maybe yeah. use it as a prop. I just thought it looked really unique. And it has that little well for what rings and things, a catch all. Yes, it's like is? a catch all for rings and things, jewelry, Earrings. that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. And then this um, a Christmas tree top. Oh, that was from the other yeah. one. Oh, OK. That's OK, though. That's, oh, that's OK. A a recent acquisition. It's something fun that I'm sharing with you. Mm -hmm. And then some film we oh. got. We picked up film that was in that barn sale. Mystery film canisters. Well, they are marked. They do have some things written on them. This one does say it's supposed to say Europe. Number Europe two number one two number one um so they were uh probably like vacation film perhaps 16 millimeter though that's a big camera to write running around back then yeah yeah this Home one movies. says middle middle bass island so she look middle something does that say bass what does that say bass bus babo something island middle something island and this say what this say West Indies Reel 6. Ooh. Oh, so they were traveling to some exotic places. Yes. That's really cool. Let's get that really weird smell. Now, the film reels do smell, and I'm not sure if it's that vinegar smell. I'm not sure if it's, it's not that vinegar. It's, if, it's or chemical. if it's like mothballs, maybe. It smells like mothballs. I don't yeah. know what that means to film. If that's the beginnings of vinegar syndrome, which is when the film starts going bad or uh, what it is but we can find out from a friend of ours who will be able to tell us that yeah and then you grabbed this old sign it was the last thing summit I, lake yeah may 20 they never have the dates on these but i'll, I'll bet you it's probably i can i can spring fling benefit for akron victim assistance program kind of creepy cool artwork yeah, the there clown. With have, the clown there's a midway of rides games of skill and eth ethnic foods food food so I could probably find I could probably find the date of this if I can find out when if when these took place because this is the fourth annual one so mm -hmm. if you could find out when they started obviously you just count four years after their three after you can figure out about what time this is from that's neat but they're never dated they I hear that's like a thing with uh with with event posters like that if they have a date on them they're probably repops or not real Oh. Because most of them don't have a. Uh, I most guess. of them weren't dated, or they didn't think to date it then. So what's this little stuff over here? We're gonna have to continue on. Of course, you're gonna research that yes. and clean them up. And sure, I can't wait. That's gonna be good money. The robots are covered with dust. They're gonna be good money. Okay, this is some stuff you got. If you want to explain this, I'll take over the camera. Yeah. Duty. People rather see you than me. <laughs> so I grabbed these. She charged me like a buck, and some of them have the lids, some of them don't. It's a collection of old tins for like flour, sugar, coffee, and the company is Ransburg? Ransburg. Ransburg, the finest in its field. Of course it is. So I don't know if it's worth anything, but they looked interesting. I know some people will buy and sell old tins. Mm -hmm. I thought it was worth a try, and then if nothing else, we can use some for storage. This something you, that you wanted really bad. What the heck is that? And this vibrator. Oh no, I didn't want that. And Clipper, or Clipper Company. I thought this was one you said you couldn't wait to get this home to... Um, no. I'm just joking. I found this in a box of stuff. Uh, I was digging. I found that looks like that would hurt your part. Wherever it was supposed to go, that but it's an old. Kind of frightening. It's a very old vibrator because it says right. Why look does at it, it have spikes? For her pleasure. I don't know about um, that. <laughs> then I got Johnny Toy Maker from Topper. This is kind of neat because look, it has these car molds. This has got to be worth a few bucks, right? I don't know. You know this old stuff's great. Some of the stuff we bought um, without researching much we, because we no. got it so cheap. Yeah. We, we, we just wanted to sort through. Everything we got today, including the rug, was $70. Yeah. So I thought that was totally fair. That's just kind of neat. A radio set? Yeah, I found that underneath. There was a box full of stuff underneath the tables, which I love to dig there. So no tubes Germ needed. Germanium, germanium diode. Ger germanium? Germanium. Germanium? Not a geranium. Germ Doesn't run on flowers. 
Then it wasn't $40. That's some price. No. She probably got it in a lot of things. Probably from an auction. And I, she said she went to auction. Yeah, I've sold stuff like this too. As is, people like to put this stuff together. It's kind of fun. The box is in decent condition. That's what people, those are, the, that's sometimes the hardest thing to find are the, um, are the boxes. I don't want to touch that thing. Oh. You're going to have to move I'm it. I'm all <laughs> over it. I'm all about it. <laughs> You're um, so weird. Like, why should you Because it's, if anything was on it, it's way gone. It's way dissipated. What's this? Um, vintage cologne. Mm. Like kind of vintage. Stuff here away oh, from the edge. Well, here, let's scoot yeah, over. Sure. Closer to the garage. There we go. No, I'd say like right in the middle here. You know what I'm saying? Come here. Oh, okay. Put everything right here. So this is vintage Avon perfume. Okay. Some vintage perfumes I have been able to sell before. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd give this a try because it has the box. Hold out here, y'all. It is very close. So y'all know. Here's an old little plastic car I found. Uh, What's it say? Can you read it? Renewal product made in USA, number 62. Pretty neat. Um, old newspaper yeah, clippings, I had a train. like old oh. van. Here's that thing I was telling you about. Oh, what's this? Put the, give me the, put the lid on this thing and use it as a, a flat surface. Thing. It's not really flat that, though. That's flatter than the bag. Oh wow. Check it out. It's a it's a pink gla uh, Vitex glass knife. Always sharp, sanitary, stainless. It's um got New York's World it Fair. It has a bunch of chips. Yeah, but somebody could if they want if this is worth anything, someone could probably, you know, smooth that out. I don't care. We got everything for cheap. I it's, mean, it's just really strange. Okay, I've never and one seen of your that. tins is missing a top. So why'd you get? I I'm mean, just saying it's strange. That's all. That, I'm not. That, I'm not. Yeah. Bothered. I mean, I'm, I'm not like putting you down. I'm just saying yeah. it's strange. Yeah. So let's continue this, on. This we won't show. Why not? You read it and you tell me if we should show it or not. Well, why'd you grab that? Because it's great. <laughs> I've heard of stuff like this before. It's just some weird. It's, uh, it's I'll a gag gift. It's like an energy. It's called some, and then a perfectly ener strong energy drink. It's not, oh, well, there's the name of it right there. But I thought it was funny. Someone, you know, people collect weird bottles. Here's another mold, two-part mold. Looks like it might make a boat or something from that uh, Johnny Toymaker, which I can't wait to look up. Now, this is a box of jewelry you got. Ooh, I got a box of treasure, guys. And an NRA stamp on the top. Oh, nice. That's, that's probably from the war. That's really war old. War yeah, that looks 1940s. Yeah. Um, so here are some vintage clip-on earrings. They're very 1960s, um, like Flower Child, you know, that, that whole era, like Pretty. probably probably late 60s. And then these are rhinestone, but they're big and flashy. They don't have a maker's mark. But they're so cool looking. I thought I'd give them a try. Um, anything named like Trifari or anything? I found one Trifari earring, but I couldn't mm. find the match. Oh, rats. But I am starting a mismatched Trifari uh, collection. Mm. So I can slot them up and sell them later. I found those little hearts. Those were really cute. Yeah, right. so these look Victorian. These yeah. are like little pins yeah. with the couple's name, Russell and Florence. Aww. And it looks like sterling silver and onyx. Yeah, those are definitely... Uh, uh, Victorian yeah for sure those yeah. are really cool this is a silver spoon ring so mm. it might be sterling but most likely it's silver plate but I do still sell them and it looks like it's made from a really old spoon probably Victorian era or close to it mm -hmm. um, this is a hat pin that I think is gold filled oh. um, let me see if I could I saw a marking on it yesterday when we were digging through well wow, it's on the other end there you go yeah, it has some type of marking on it. I'm not gold. It's uh, G something. I think it is gold filled. Mm. It's not actual gold. It's probably filled gold with gold. Filled. I always think that's a misleading. And then term. there's you know that here, but I thought those were cool. I thought they were worth grabbing. She mm -hmm. had a bunch of costume jewelry, but um, most of it wasn't for me so yeah. what's in the wrapped up stuff here oh yeah and then there's some more old perfume bottles oh wow pink in lace or pink lace cologne royale mm, studio like a... girl hollywood north huh. hollywood california well, so fun. that is very vintage interesting yeah i like the old perfume bottles. that bottle might pay for this a whole haul it might Ooh, there's mouse poop in here mm, lucky us That's, that was wash nice. our hands oh look at done. that Old South. South Woodland Spice Cologne. This looks like an old men's cologne bottle, but mm -hmm. the, the label on it looks really old and neat. It does. It's so pretty cool. Those are two I'm going to have to research. Yeah, bring them in. Um, so, yeah, there, there's About a few the small poop. things I'll bring in the house and clean up. I thought I can't wait to look up some of this stuff. Here's a... Oh, check out these fellas. Who are those 
those guys? I don't know, but they're pretty neat. This guy wouldn't mess with on top there. Uh, he, he looks rough he looks, and tough. They're not the same person. They might be brothers. Who knows? I don't know why they're all in the same frame. Maybe it was someone's three sons. Like the TV show. Like my three sons. There's, yeah. But the tough one, you can see who the tough one was, who the, you know, the, the fun one was, and the, who the, the serious one was. Yeah. So interesting. They could have started know. a boy band. I love things like that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with it, but I think it's cool. Um, look at this. Fresh in the box. Hopefully it doesn't have any chips on it, but Janet will inspect it to find out. Toy tanker truck. Put a tiger in your tank. Exxon, baby. These are really, usually do really good. Stuff like this. Uh, they're like collector's things that you get, you know, from mm -hmm. a gas station or whatever. Aurora, this is cool. Is it's a model kit. Ooh. Here, hold that. I'll open it up. Okay. It's Black Fury. Now, it is a symbol. So it's a horse model kit. But she's in there. There oh, she and is. she's all put together. <laughs> oh, she's cute. <laughs> she's cute. This was probably really hard to put the. It's like two pieces. Yeah, that's an easy model kit right oh, there. Oh, boy, that's fun. It's got oh, some Oh, it even car comes parts. with extra horseshoes. Oh, hoofs, horseshoes. There's only. They're, they're all four oh, in there. All four. That's Not good. extra. Know, Just that's, enough. That's good. So no one shoot it yet. <laughs> but it looks like it's a pretty simple kit. Never seen this. This is pretty neat. I bet you. Hey, this, they made a model kit for everything, I'm sure. 1958. This is going to be good. Really? Oh, I guarantee it. So, is, do you think there's one item in here that will cover the seventy dollar haul? This or the ro one of the robots. So this sure. or the robots All should yes. cover it, yeah. and then everything else should be good. I'd say. And then whatever isn't good, we'll just donate you or know something. What? Let's have fun. I'll, I'll see. But it was it was fun to talk with the lady, and it, it was, was fun very to go shop. Fun. Very, we very went fun. to um, the place was called Backwoods Pickers or Backwoods Barn Pickers or mm. something. It, it was a fun. Back. It was fun to go look. It was. And we're, we're probably going to go there again. Yeah, probably. Was there anything else in the garage that we picked up from that? We didn't have a whole lot. Oh, this was from that other house. Yeah, um, these I have to wash. This is like, these are vintage bloomers with the lace and the ruffles. It's kind of funny. This is like a vintage um, apron. So yeah, we have a a lot of stuff in here once the weather gets better we're gonna go through this more for sure um but we chip away at it a little bit at a time between the garage and the basement and what's funny is that lady's barn kind of looked like our garage because she had stuff piled up like the garage yeah let's shoot your brain rum coat you can look that up later let's shoot our outro here all right we will do that let's say goodbye to in the viewers I don't even know where he is. Well, gang, thank you for watching our video. We're getting cold and we're going to go in the house and you're, you know, wanting to look everything up on your phone right now. Okay. I'm, I'm yeah, this is good <laughs> He's stuff. He's all it's excited. Fun. Yeah. So thanks. If you like watching videos like this, give the video a like. You can always hit subscribe. Um, did we find some good things? Put it in the comments below. What do you think of the haul? Um, would you buy those things? Would you not buy them? Put it in the comments below. Here's a Mr. Brain someone's selling that's with a box and uh, pretty decent complete for 94. So he could be 60 bucks as is. Maybe. I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe. So we'll have our money back. Gotta try, right? Yeah, it'll be fun. All right. Well, the idea is to profit. So hopefully we can make a little something on this. We will. We will. And if not, it's a learning experience. And then we know what to not know. Then we know what not to buy next time. Which you think we would have figured out the first time we ever started doing this years ago. But anyway, you learn as you go. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. See ya.